But we, one of the things that we're upset about today is the hatred and the anger that's going on in our community. So we stand today in solidarity. We stand today in truth. We stand today with our constitutional rights that says that we have the right to live, the right to exercise our rights. Monte was a great young man, yes. a very talented yes. young man. Yes. Yes. There's yes. no story out here going about game banging. Okay, we ain't so every time they come, the media comes, they say it was a gang member. Monte was not a gang member. He was an entertainer. Yes, that's right. Entertainer. Those are syllables. He was an entertainer. So let's get that down in the history of the books right now that he was an entertainer who could have been a great great entertainer had his life his life not been stolen away. His legacy lives on. If his legacy lives on, clap your hands. Yes. And for every every newborn child that's born, and for every young child that's born today, from this point on, we have to teach our children love, integrity, dignity, yes. discipline, social skills, etiquette, self-love, and self-respect. Yes. Yes. When we stop hating each other, then that's when the real love is going to begin. Yes. Yes. And hopefully, this senseless killing will stop. Yes. Yes. We have to put down the red and the blue and tie it together it. and remember that's that it's a government conspiracy yes. to make us kill each other. Yes. Now when are we going to wake up and smell the coffee because it's a new cup being brewed every second? I'm sick and tired of being sick and tired of coming to these vigils. I'm here today because I knew Monte's father. We grew up together. When I, when I received the phone call, I cried in my heart and I cried tears of pain. And this pain will never go away because we got to face this every single day.